Na na. Ah, hello, Socksphere. Shouldn't you be out gavelling? Uh, no, I'm going to play a variety of love songs and then cry myself to sleep. That's a fun Valentine's Day ritual. Valentine's? Well, yeah, I got you some chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I, I expected this. I knew this was coming. Do households both alike in dignity? No, hold up. Listen here, dorks. I know you think this play is overdone and overwrought and unrealistic, and I don't care. It's like you're either a dopey teenager who reduces the play to only romantic love, or you're some cynic who can't get past the whole three days thing to appreciate the poetry. Well, you're certainly coming on to the whole being mortally bound to Shakespeare for the rest of your life thing. So sit down, shut up, and open your mind. Act one, scene one, in Fair Verona, where we lay our scene. I will take the wall of any man or maid of Montague's. That shows the weak slave for the weakest go to the wall. Tis true, and therefore women, being the weaker vassals, are ever thrust to the wall. That's about four... tallies on the first page. Samson, look, Montague's! One, two, three, thumb bite! Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? I do bite my thumb, sir. Do you bite your thumb at us? Sir. Yeah, I'm actually just sucking it. It's a really bad habit. I'm trying to stop. No one in the house of Montague has any bad habits, unlike you dumb, dirty Capulets. Hey, that's not true! Draw, if you be men! Hey, Nimrods, put up your swords. Did I hear a... fight? Oh dear. Turn, Benvolio, and look upon my death. I do but keep the peace. Come on, Tybalt. Help me break up this fight. Peace? I hate the word as I hate hell all Montagues and thee. <laughs> hey, a fight. Get me my sword. A crutch, a crutch. Why call you for a sword? Woman. Please, Tybalt. You already took my lunch money. The villain Capulet. Honey, let me go fight. Mm-hmm. Go back inside. Rebellious subjects, enemies to the peace. If I hear about one more gosh darn brawl between the Capulets and Montagues, your lives shall pay the forfeit of the peace. I yes, completely sir, agree, reasonable, sir. sir. <laughs> Nerd. Moments later. Benvolio, where's Romeo? Madam, an hour before the worship sun peered forth the golden window of the east, a troubled mind drave me to walk abroad. Where, underneath the sycamore, that westward rooteth from the city side, so early walking did I see your son. You still whining about Rosalind? Yes, aunt. Well, it's better than staying up in his room and crying as he master- Honey! The art of love poetry. Look, Benvolio, there Romeo is. Go talk to him with your teenager stuff. Good morrow, cousin. <sighs> is the day so young? What sadness lengthens Romeo's hours? There's this girl. Okay. Her name's Rosalind. She's so pretty. Okay. She's like, really pretty. I believe you. But she doesn't like me. Forget to think of her. Oh, teach me how I should forget to think. Let's see how the Capulets are doing. Paris, I know my daughter very well. That you do, Lord Capulet. Shakespeare tip, when two guys agree on something about a woman, they're wrong. My daughter is 13, Paris, and while I am perfectly fine with you, noble rich guy that you are, marrying her, she is yet a stranger in the world. Younger than she, our happy mother's maid. If you want to have sex with someone who can still sell Girl Scout cookies, it's your call, but... I'm gonna talk about it later, okay? Here, servant, go deliver the party invitations. Yes, sir! <laughs> Wait, I'm illiterate. I pray, sir, can you read? I, my own fortune and my misery. Romeo. Yes, I can read. Oh, it's a bunch of party goers. Yep, there's a big party up at Capulet Mansion tonight. Y'all could come as long as you aren't filthy Montagues. <laughs> 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 I want to go to there. Juliet's bedroom. Where's my daughter? Where's this girl? What? Juliet! How now? Who calls? Oh, my sweet jewel, I remember. When you were a babe, my husband would pick you up and go. Thou wilt fall backward when thou comest of age, wilt thou not? And thou said I. Okay. Anyway, Juliet, you're going to be married to Paris soon. How do you feel? I don't want to get married to Paris. He's gross and old. When I asked how do you feel, it was implied that your opinion doesn't matter. Whatever, Mom. Later that evening. Oh, we're off to see the Capulets. Mercutio. I hope we don't get killed. I feel sick. Hey, gentle Romeo, we must have you dance. I just, I just want a girl I can love, you know? We can say rawr to each other all day. That a sex thing? No, silly. It means I love you in Dinosaur. I actually had a really bad dream about exactly this party, so I don't think we should go at all. I think we should go home. 
Oh, then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She's the fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone upon the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a little team of atomies athwart men's noses as they lie asleep. This is too long. Peace, Mercutio, peace. Thou talkest of nothing. Guys, we're gonna be late. I'm coming, I'm coming. The party. Hey, wants to dance with my teenage daughter? She's young, she's pretty, she's sweet, she's a minor. Going once, going twice. Dad. Did my heart love till now? I smell Montague. Devil, where the frick are you going? Uncle, I do not want to alarm you, but there was a Montague in the premises, so I'm gonna go get my sword. Oh, go to, go to, you are a saucy boy. If I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine, the gentle fine is this. My lips, two blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a gentle kiss. Good pilgrim, you do wrong your hand too much. Which mannerly devotion shows in this, for saints of hands that pilgrims' hands do touch, and palm to palm is holy palmer's kiss. Do you think that we're all going to die? Juliet, your mother craves a word with you. Farewell, boy. <laughs> Who is that girl? Why, she's Juliet, the only child of Lord and Lady Capulet. I have to go now. Nurse, who was that boy? Romeo Montague, the only son of your great enemy. Aww. At like one in the gosh darn morning. Mercutio, Romeo just jumped over that fence into the Capulet Mansion. Well, hey, Benny, we're finally alone. Mercutio! <sighs> Fine. Romeo. Romy. Romester, roaming star. I conjure thee by Rosalind's scarlet lip, by her bright eyes, high forehead, by her fine foot, straight leg, and quivering. If he hear thee, thou wilt anger him. Bah, he'll be fine. He's a big boy now. All to my truckle bed. This field bed is too cold for me to sleep. Come, shall we go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. What light through yonder window breaks? Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Why is he Romeo, not where is he? Get it right, you little dweebs. Romeo, doff thy name, and for that name which is no part of thee, take all my cell. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Montague. Shh, baby. Good night, Romeo. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? I shall send for you at nine tomorrow. I would I were thy bird. Yet I should kill thee with much cherishing. They're just so kawaii. The next morning in the church. Good morrow, father. Our Romeo has not been in bed tonight. That last is true. The sweeter rest was mine. So you didn't use protection? Her name's Juliet Capulet and she's amazing. She's a Capulet boy. You better watch yourself. We can work it out. Easter with her family, Christmas with mine. We want to get married. <laughs> Take it easy there, tiger. But yes, I will officiate you cutie pies. Juliet has her nurse tell Romeo that she wishes to marry him and they meet up later at the church. And you may now kiss the bride. Gee willikers! Okay, maybe just a nose poop. So. No. The next scene. No! Act 3, scene 1. No. In the main courtyard. Oh, good grief, it's hot out. Almost as hot as you. Capulets! Schmapulets. Hey, where's your nerd friend? I already did your math homework, Tibble. No, the other one. Hi, guys! You! Villain! Hello, Mr. Tibble, sir. You shouldn't call me that. I love you. What? Yeah, man. Ohana, bro. Romy, honey, step aside. Mommy and daddy need to have a little grown-up talk. Stop suggesting we have homoerotic tension. Ah. What, art thou hurt? No, I'm totally fine. <laughs> Mercutio. A plague of both your houses. Oh, God. Tybalt killed him. I'm gonna kill Tybalt. Wretched boy. Yeah. Tell Juliet I love her, and I'll see her when I wake. I killed him! Run! What? Did you not hear the first six pages of exposition? If there's another brawl in the city, the prince will kill all responsible. <gasps> Who did the thing? Tybalt killed Mercutio, so Romeo avenged him. Tybalt! My cousin, oh, the blood is split, my dear kinsman! Isn't that a bit much? Tybalt! Romeo Montague is henceforth exiled from Verona. Furthermore, Romeo 
Romeo is coming. Romeo is coming. He's gonna be here tonight. He's gonna be here in my room. He's gonna be in my bed. Oh my goodness, Romeo! Juliet! What news? He's dead. Romeo? Tibble, Tibble, the best friend I ever had. Romeo killed him. He's banished now. Oh God! Will you speak well of him that killed your cousin? Shall I speak ill of him that is my husband? Get Mari on the phone. He's in hiding at the Friars now. Give him this ring. Tell him I still want to see him. The Friars. I hate my life. Good news, son. Juliet still wants to consummate. Meanwhile. Hey, can I marry your kid yet? Yes. The next morning. Juliet? Romeo? <laughs> Anne. Why are you giggling like that? There's only one of you. Hello. Yes, darling? Rar. What's that? It means I love you in dinosaur. Rar. <laughs> Good morning, Juliet. Your mother wishes to speak to you presently. See you at breakfast. Goodbye now. I think I should go now. Will we ever meet again? Of course we will, my love. Either my eyesight fails or thou lookst pale. And trust me, love, in my eye, so do you. Dry sorrow drinks our blood. Adieu. Adieu. <laughs> Those were the last things they ever said to each other. Rise and shine, Juliet. You are to be married. I don't want to marry Paris. Too bad. I need to talk this over with God. Help me kill myself. This isn't what it looks like. I'm... I'm making... hot chocolate, Juliet. That's not what a meth lab looks like. Here, Juliet, take this sleeping potion. It'll make it look like your dad, I'll smuggle you out of your crypt, and you'll run away with Romeo. Thank you, father. This is a great idea. <laughs> Soon enough. Yes, I'm in bed, Mom. Yes, I'm very excited to marry Paris. Yes, I brush my teeth. Good night. The nurse discovers Juliet seemingly dead, and mourning and mayhem ensues. There are some funny bits with some musicians, but this is a tragedy, so no comic relief is allowed at all. Let's see how Romeo's doing. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Hi, Balthazar. How's Juliet doing? She's doing great. How so? Oh, I bet she's gardening, or, or painting, or being cute, or... She's dead. Well, I will lie with her tonight. Aw, that's sweet. Good thing poison is so readily available. Oh, that's, um, I don't know if that's better or worse than what I originally thought you were going to do. Wow, that seems like some false information. Let's see what the friar has to say. Hey, Brother John, did you deliver that letter I asked you to? The one that tells Romeo that Juliet's just faking her death and not to worry? I'm sorry, brother, I wasn't able to deliver the letter. I got stuck up in a plague town. Good God, I'll have to break Juliet out of her tomb myself with my trusty iron crow. Oh, poor Juliet, forced to live a half-life, enclosed in a dead man's tomb. The tomb. Oh, my poor sweet fiancé. My poor sweet minor fiancé. Hey, weren't you banished? Get away from Juliet's grave. No, you get away. You're probably gonna touch her dead boob or something equally adolescent. <laughs> oh, my love, my wife, you look so beautiful. As if you were alive. <laughs> here's to my love. And here's to my homies. Oh god. Yikes! Hello. Where's my Romeo? Um, um, stay right there, I'll be right back. What's here? A cup enclosed in my true love's hand? Poison, I see, hath been his timeless end. Oh, churl. Drunk all and left no friendly drop to help me after. I will kiss thy lips. Haply some poison doth still hang on them to make die with the restorative. Thy lips are warm. Yay, noise. Then I'll be brief. Oh, happy dagger. This is thy sheath. They rust. Let me die. <laughs> So Juliet's parents and, and Romeo's father and the prince all learn the full story from Friar Lawrence and the family's vow to bury the feud and raise two golden statues of the lovers. For there never was a tale of more woe than that of Juliet and her Romeo. And that's exactly what happened. Do you want to talk about it? I don't want to talk about it. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And remember, kids, safe Shakespeare is great Shakespeare. 
I'm so glad my Romeo doesn't pull stupid stunts like that. You have a boyfriend. Isn't that right, Miss Romeo Lovebug Bandit? Your claws are in my mouth. 